Hey, it's me, Bobby the Dree, and we're getting back to Yes, Pretty Soccer War Song My Love. And now we're in the first battle mode of the game. And it's a pretty basic fight. Uh, right now we're going to the Statue of Liberty. And you see, this is May 1928. Again, it's usually based on actual history. And you'll probably see here in a few seconds. You see robots walking around destroying the place. And you can see the graphics is, you know, not the best looking graphics you're ever going to see. Now, keep in mind, this is in Japan. This was released for the PlayStation 2 back in, I believe, in 2007. And this was ported to Worldwide in 2009, both for PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii. So, I guess keep that in mind. I mean, it's not a bad looking game, there's some decent animation and visuals, but this is probably the less impressive looking part of the game. But the battle mode is really fun and makes up for it. And pretty much every member of the New York um, Combat Review are pretty prideful of the city in New York, which is, well, not being a New Yorker myself, I really, you know, appreciate that and, you know, respect that. Even though pretty much um, none of the members, except maybe a few, are actual New Yorkers. Uh, I think Karen Archer was the only one born in New York, and Harlem to be more specific. Well, I think um, Ratchet Artillery is somewhere in French. The uh, Subaru and Central from Japan, but to still treat this um, city as their own. Uh, right now we're getting a brief tutorial. Um, I decided to skip the tutorial because it's pretty simple. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on this recording. I This is a 30 minute video and the last part was 40 minutes. I'm recording um, this on the same day as the um, part 3 one. Uh, right now we have control of only Sendro and well pretty much I took a little pause there I believe I was fixing something there uh, but pretty much the blue bar you notice on the bottom of the screen is you know how many steps you can take um, how many times you can attack uh, some um, moves takes like more than two of the blue bars uh, because well, it's showing off the other animation the super move right there. Uh, super move, it takes more of an SP move. Uh, that's the um, bottom red bar there. Uh, let's see. Let's see, it took out a bit of red bar and the green bar is your health. And you notice the map on the right. It, Become somewhat useful later on, but right now it's just get that little area we get a battle through, so we don't have to worry about that one. Uh, for the most part, you can do basic attacks, which you can do up to a five combo. Um, you can heal yourself, defend yourself, uh, do a super move, which you know we saw right there, right earlier on. I mean, right there you see Ratchet Artel doing her basic attack. Unfortunately, she's the only character that you can't play as, which is pretty sad because you know she got her own you know animation for attack. I don't think she has her own super move, as far as I know. But yeah, we uh, see Super doing her super move, which you always get this nice animation thing. I mean, I may um, skip it f uh, for the rest of the part. I may like show it once every battle mode but but I try you know to skip it you know so, to make the video shorter of course and you see Subaru has a basic attack you can do that up to five times or or how many view bars you have on that bottom screen and some of the attacks can hit multiple enemies if positioned right like Subaru could have um, taken two enemies at once but um, again, I don't have any control for it yet. And it's time for the enemy to attack. I'm 
Well, for the most part, um, you get to attack first and the enemy second arm. Uh, sometimes, um, uh, only like a few of your members can attack, then the enemy attack, and then um, the rest of your team members can attack. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of speed stat that I'm not um, aware of. But, um, but again, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, Karen Archer, again, she can uh, hit multiple enemies with her super attack. Right now, she's just attacking one. And again, I don't have control over her. Uh, I think next time I should be quiet on the um, super attack one. Probably in the next um, part. Or the um, next battle mode part. Just uh, so you can hear the dialogue. I mean, I'm sure you can be able to hear it. Uh, but, um, or you can, you know, just, um, find, you know, somebody's walked you over it and find it uninterrupted by my audio. And see, we've got Ratchet on tear again. And you're probably going to start noticing something a bit off. Well, okay, maybe not right away in the secret game, but this time her attack was weaker and pretty much... Karen and Subaru are noticing uh, that something ain't right. And of course, um, Ratchet R2 want them to focus on the battle just like a leader would want them to. Uh, Karen Archer um, also has the ability to um, hit enemies from up there. Uh, while the rest of the crew will have to go up the stairs and get those enemies. Now, um, how many steps it take? You can regain those on um, blue balls back by backtracking. So it's not like if you take a step, you automatically use that um, blue ball. So you can, you know, take your time, plan out your strategy, and see, you know, what you can do. I got. Central Super Move was able to hit enemies on the top, but apparently that's not the case. And again, we're doing the Super Move again. Yeah, I decided to skip that one, you know, just to hurry up. And decided to do a 5 combo. I probably could have done some straight combos, save some of that blue energy right there. I I forgot what that is uh, actually called. I know the green one is HP and the um, the bottom red bar is um, SP. I think that's special power. But HP is health points. Uh, did, uh, did, yeah, I can't also attack that from a bear, so yeah. So, some characters got like special abilities that um, no other characters has. Well, maybe some of them has similar ones, but some of them got like different range of attack or different um, powers. So each character is unique in each of their own way. Which, you know, I really like that feature. Of course, um, other RPG does it too, I'm pretty sure. Um, right now we're getting near the end of this um, uh, battle part. Yeah, uh, this one kind of just cuts off and we turn back to to um, Karen Archer here. Uh, I noticed that the um, PlayStation 2 version that her animation is a lot more faster and fluid, while this one seems like it's a bit lagging on the re version. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but it's, you know, minor, but it's very noticeable. <laughs> what kind of mindless fool dares to rebel and, against well, we get to see this mysterious bunny person here. Oh yeah, a uh, guessing game, uh, without, you know, reading the spoilers. Guess if, the, if that bunny person's a boy or a girl. Uh, I'm not going to review that answer, you know, or at least try not to. 
Yeah. So, I think those who are a fan of Power Ranger may be interested in this game as well. I mean, this part reminds me of Power Rangers, like, like you get to fight this giant enemy thing. And, you know, most like, um, Edelvarians who reveal their names, wants the heroes, ask who they are. Uh, this person decides not to, you know, like, I guess a covenant villain. Uh, by the way, this, um, Bernie Lady is not the main villain, but, uh, it's actually the, like, uh, second in command. Uh, on the, um, uh, that Benny person revealed, um, the name yet, but I'm just gonna say, um, it's, it's, um, Wamanu, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but pretty much that Benny person's, um, motive is to summon the, um, master or lord to, you know, pretty much take over the world. This is pretty much the basic part of each um, soccer war or soccer advertising as it's called in Japan's um, part of the game. And see Ratchet Artera, something's wrong with her. Um, well, I'm gonna explain this um, already. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed that the use of word card Numa, which is a energy inside them that helps control these um, machine. And, well, Noob is not explained very well because, you know, this is the fifth game of the series and probably longtime fans already know what Numa is, but for those who not entirely sure what it is, it's pretty much the Force, I suppose. It, like from Star Wars, this power that's inside them and can be used, used for good or evil. And, well, we say watch it on Tilda, I'm sorry if I didn't pay attention to the game, but you know, it was just one choice. You'll save her or don't, I guess, you know, just at the time it went out. I'm not sure what would happen if you decide not to save her. It'd be interesting if it ends up, you know, she's not being available in the game from then on out. If that's the case, then maybe I'll try it one day, but I'm pretty sure she'll be safe either way. Um, let's see, pretty much, um, Chinjo's pretty much not good that anybody die. That's pretty much one character trait that's, um, pretty much going to be consistent, uh, throughout the, um, game, or story, in this case. More so in the, um, later chapter than anything else. And not sure why I decided to carry her there, especially considering what's afterwards. Hey, but I guess doing? this is when I make it look good for the trailer. Order. I'm pretty sure that's one of the shots that you see in the official soccer award trailers. And but here's one order. You must obey. for some reason, not only Shinjo can become a member of the Star Division. Star he is now the leader of the Star Division, so that's a pretty big on. boost in promotion. I mean, can the tenant get transferred to America, but not good enough to be on the team right away, but you earn that spot by turning on the light, you save the leader life, then you become the leader. Again, suspicion of disbelief, but or anime logic, I suppose, game logic, whatever, but but now Shinjiro Tiger is the leader. Uh, pretty much uh, second in command, not uh, above command of Sunnyside. He's pretty much the, um, the leader of all the um, New York Division, or New York Comic Review, as they call it. And we also get to join, learn about um, joint attacks, which becomes pretty useful and, you know, 
you know that common thing that we've been um, increasing throughout the um, story mode? Yeah, this plays to... Um, uh, this is what the joint attack is for. The stronger your bond between uh, two characters, the um, stronger the joint attack would be. I'm probably going to show that off um, a little bit later on. I don't think I showed off right here. Yeah, once you can't really make any move, you can just press the um, select button and end your turn. That dialogue from Sibu always confused me, like, don't make any difference between enemy and ally, like, are you sure, like, I mean, I'm, does that mean that she's willing to attack her ally as well? I don't know, but, and, but, you know, Sibu is still my favorite, especially in battle, as you see here, is taking out multiple enemies, but Central would kind of interrupt that with a little cutscene. You get a little dialogues that that sometimes trigger during battle. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly that you trigger it. I'm pretty sure that you need to be as close to your teammate as po well, not very close, but as as pretty close in battle. It doesn't trigger a conversation every time, but but it's. But it usually happens, you know, at least once every battle. Excuse me, just drink a little water, but... As you can see here, you can trigger a conversation pretty easy. Mainly because, you know, it's the first battle, it's pretty much a tutorial at this point. And... Right now, we just gotta destroy all the other enemies to proceed to the next um, battle. I guess the giant robots just standing there watching it, not causing destruction. Wamuru may not be the smartest uh, antagonist, but but he does get the basic. Well, okay, maybe not uh, this part right, but he does get some basics. I think this one I use a. But well, I attack it first to weaken it because the joint attack is not really that powerful at first. But right now I'm doing a joint attack with Subaru. And yeah, that's pretty much a joint attack right there. It's pretty weak right now, but you know, it's the beginning of the game. And if you destroy an enemy by using a joint attack, uh, you boost the combo points a bit. At least early on in the game, well, you know, later on it just becomes just a basic attack. Uh, joint attacks does take up some SP, but not as much as your, um, your super move. And something can trigger conversation with um, Audrey and Cherry. But, you know, that's pretty rare. Uh, some conversation will actually lead to one of those multiple choice questions to increase your karma, but for the most part, it's just, you know, just regular conversation and a bit of character development, I suppose. And oh, here comes Subaru. Now, you notice Subaru is kind of vanishing there. That's because Subaru has the ability to um, pass through enemies and other objects. Or, or more specifically, destroyable objects. And we're doing another joint attack with Subaru. Now I think this one, um, yeah, it's, um, uh, sometimes other team members will join in, like Karen just did right now. It depends how strong the bond between each of your characters are. It makes the um, joint attack stronger. And now we get to the third part of the battle, finding the giant robot. And we also get a new form of the star robot. Uh, yeah, you see Ratchet Artillery is pretty much okay. 
uh, well, not to spoil it too much, but um, her role would be kind of um, reduced. Uh, you see later on, but pretty much she's not going to be the captain anymore. And pretty much she's going to help Shinjiro become a better captain. Well, I guess that depends on on which ending you get. If you get the Ratchet on Tear ending, you, you get more development with her. This is the case which um, each other character you go for the ending for. But, you know, we see that later on in the video. And we get our second mode, which is the airplane mode. It pretty much plays the same as um, the ground battles. The only difference is that you'd be able to move around more freely. And again, I don't need a tutorial. I play this game like about eight or nine times. Uh, now the main objective of this um, boss battle is just to destroy the weak part. There's the um, there's a weak part that exposed the um dark number on the giant robot. All you have to do is destroy that and that um, pretty much um, finish the mission. You don't have to attack every body part of the um, robot, but it does help make the game pretty easier. I'm just doing this to um, show off. Even though I want to keep the video short, I don't want to breeze through it at the same time. And we get to see a Sigma move from Sinjiro. Uh, again, Subaru and Karen can attack multiple enemies in the air with their super move, but it's a bit harder to. The same as normal attacks, I suppose. Um, there are, I'm pretty sure that's not as easy. You gotta have the enemies and the robot body part very close together in order for that to happen. And right now we get to destroy the staff. I mean, each of those body parts are also an attack, so pretty much the giant robot has like multiple attacks to destroy your teammates. Now if um, your, one of your teammates um, pretty much um, get destroyed in battle, the mission will still continue on, you just use that teammate, but if Chinchiro get destroyed in battle, the mission is over and you failed. Uh, I think in that one I destroyed like one of the smaller enemies. Um, in this part you don't really have to worry about them. They're pretty much easy to avoid and I guess you know if you're playing this the first time and you don't have the um, later battle stats uploaded in a new part it can become a bit annoying to to count to encounter them but um but if you're using the um, battle stats from the last playthrough, you pretty much can ignore them. Now my tip for people playing it the first time is to attack um, this um, little jetpack thing. Uh, mainly because um, that jetpack thing can restore um, HP to the giant robot. Uh, Yeah, again, this being the first battle, this this robot is really not pretty hard. And again, you can trigger um, conversations with other teammates. And I think this one uh, results into a multiple choice question. And pretty much... Pretty much saying that you'll never give up and that earns some respect from the other teammates. Um, not much to discuss over here. That's pretty much it. So, again, small enemies can be pretty annoying, but not important to, to actually worry about. Uh, 
again, um, you may, may notice that the other teammates uh, actually uh, talks to Chinchuro when his um when it's actually his turn. It could be it could vary from teammates and. And the dialogue is different between, uh, depending on on the on karma points. If it's pretty low, they give like a like a negative sarcastic response. Uh, if it's if it's kind of high up, it's um, a neutral response. But if it's if it's like um, but if it's like um, up to the highest on um, karma points or mostly high. It gives a rather positive response, which you will see, you know, like in the little parts. And again, we get to get some more um, character development with Subaru. Uh, pretty much Subaru is very calm and don't let her emotion get to her. Uh, she's pretty much the person that pretty much hide her emotions and try to keep things to herself. Okay, I think that's pretty much all the um, uh, parts that you can destroy except for the um, the left crawl, which you know easy to avoid. You don't have to you don't have to really focus on that one, and you know the head, which. Which is actually one that you need to focus on. Uh, now is this one I'm about to show off. I think it's um, about to be destroyed. Gonna use a joint attack again to increase the um, combo points with Subaru. I think I decided to um, go with the Subaru ending, but you know I can change that. Um, throughout the game and we see here that we found its weak spot which is inside its head of course you need to find you need to attack that part to lower the health there label as dark core and we gotta use a super move I just want to be quiet there for the animation, but um, pretty much everybody's super move is a powerful attack except for one, uh, which we'll get to that. And you know, you can skip all the fighting parts, you know, make it go faster. Probably gonna be doing a lot of that in the future videos. And gonna use a joint attack to attack two people here. Again, you don't have to focus on the small robots, but it's, you know, if you're able to attack it while attacking, you know, the important big enemy part, I say go ahead. And, you know, that's pretty much it for the battle. Pretty easy battle. I probably took too much time than I needed to, but, but again, I just want to show off, you know, how everything works. And the mysterious rabbit person is defeated for now. And of course, this isn't the end, it's only the beginning. And, well, it's nice for the enemy to clean up and didn't actually destroy any property by the looks of it. So I guess everything ends up very well. Of course, everybody's congratulating Shinjiro for doing a great job for leading the group. The group, I'm sorry. See? I can walk and everything. Yeah. Well, certainly rose to the Never do two recordings of a 10 minute video in one day. I'm 
Well, I, sh I should have known that, but you know, I had the time, so I might as well do it. And pretty much in every battle, the group takes a um, group photo together to celebrate the victory. I see, Chinchou looks very confused, as did I. First time playing this. The picture is somewhat important in this game, as you're going to see um, in the second part at least. Either the second or dead one, um, uh, chapter. But, you know, Chinchou finally is happier in New York, finding his place on the team. And again, they gave him a little celebration here. Gotta count all the next thing nickname Commander Sunnyside gave Chinchuro. I believe we're up to three now, two or three at least. Glad to hear it. I have some good news for you. And uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. And that Chinchuro become a permanent member of the New York Combat Reviewed. And even though everybody, well, specifically Subaru and Karen right now are happy with them, uh, the other chapters, there will be some comfort later on. But, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. Gotta make that a catchphrase, I suppose. I keep on saying that, like, in every video, or less for at least. But yeah, <laughs> Let's hope it uh, that. pretty much the uh, the first part is pretty decent. I mean, it taught everything very well, and it made me want to continue this game, which you know I'm glad I did. And there's the that rabbit character again. <laughs> but you know, this is pretty much the end of the video over here. Oh yeah, another thing I like is pretty much the preview for the next chapter. It's a Karen Archer uh, focused story. And as you can see here, we're gonna play a little bit of Phoenix Wright here. So stay tuned for that one. So yeah, anyway, thank you for um, watching my video, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you stay tuned for the next part. This is me, Baba Daddy Dree, and I catch you guys later. See ya.